Today we are talking about post-production basics in photography. So in case you're looking, for instance, at this image in Shutterstock, what's characteristic is that it's um, too bright. The grass is looking uh, greener, the skies are, are whiter and brighter, and everything is like saturated and vibrant. But it's sometimes, sometimes these pictures are just far from reality. The actual uh, image would look much darker. Should be more shadows around around these mountains and and uh, valleys. So, but the photographer of this image has made some post-production um, steps and made this image look uh, brighter. S um, we are on thin ice if we are trying to make these changes in post-production because we risk that our photos may not get through and may not get accepted. Still, we want to make them more attractive, we want to make them outstanding, more visible, um, we want to make them handsome. So there are several basic post-production um, activities that we can do uh, f to change our photos and make them more attractive. And this is this is uh, what we are going to do today. So we are currently looking at a photo of um, birch trees uh, and the sky taken from bottom up. So we can see that the lower part of the trees is too dark and we want to make it brighter but we also only want to make the dark parts brighter and not the sky. So what we are doing first is we are picking our um, brush tool and we are making our brush tool a little, little bit uh, larger to match the diameter of the trees and we want to be increasing we're going to be increasing the um, exposure by let's say two and a half just for the trees 2.2 .2 for, the, for the trees to look a little um, uh, brighter so um, carefully we are marking the areas of the trees with the wide brush tool. For the uh, upper part of the trees we're going to be uh, picking another diameter of the brush tool. So as you can see the trees are starting to look a little lighter and this is what we want to achieve. Okay, So let's make this third tree brighter as well. Okay, now it's time to change the diameter of the brush tool to decrease it. We don't want to overexpose the sky. Alright, and carefully we are marking the dark areas of these trees so they are getting brighter. Things like this take quite a quite a lot of time in, in post-production but sometimes uh, it's worthwhile because um, you do it once and you can submit your picture to different stock photography sites. Alright, so the trees I think we have more or less uh, covered. If we, have a, if we um, take a quick look and compare original image with the one which we did, we can see that the trees are, are lighter, but this is not the only change that we are doing. So we are deactivating the brush tool. Slightly increasing highlights as well helps. Shadows, this is something that also can um, brighten your image. So we are increasing shadows by 20, 30 to this, this time and whites and blacks as well. If you press the Alt key and um, move the, the whites area to, um, to the right side slightly to see that uh, to the moment where the whites area gets highlighted and do the same for the blacks but just move it to the left side until you see that the black areas get highlighted not to the very end, but just to see uh, the blacks coming out. That would do. The clarity. Uh, let's increase the clarity of this image for around 23. 
three, no, twenty percent. And vibrance, let's increase vibrance for fifty. When it comes to saturation, let's keep in mind that our goal here is to pass the quality checks of the uh, stock photography side. So let's not uh, fiddle too much with uh, the post production when it comes to saturation. We can increase it slightly, but not too much. When it comes to contrast, we can s make slight changes and increase contrast by, let's say, 15. And the overall exposure of this can stay as it was, because if we are in increasing the exposure too much, we have a risk of overexposing our image. So we have already made exposure adjustments um, for the darker parts. So let's keep the original exposure as it is. And uh, if we compare the original image with uh, what we just did, we can see that the trees are looking much lighter. The um, blue sky is looking nicer in the clouds, against the clouds, and the overall image quality has increased. So I think this is the end of our post-production activities, and we can hope that this image uh, will pass uh, quality checks in some of the stock photography sites. We have to bear in mind that the stock photography sites are looking very careful at the post-production activities that we are making and their intention is to keep these activities to bare minimum and have their end customers um, make them if they decide that's necessary so for us it's uh, crucial to make very minor changes okay so i hope you enjoyed this video i wish you all success